Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. Guest star. Guest star. <laughs> Crochet B, the new and improved. Crochet B. So before we get started, I had a couple of things that I wanted to say. Sandy doesn't know about this. So earlier today, while I was working, I had one of my customers say to me, what time do you want to meet? And I got really upset and he didn't know why. So obviously he didn't watch Sandy's video from yesterday because if he did, he would know why. Um, second of all, I know Sandy's been uh, telling you guys about our um, little journey on the carnivore diet here. So um, I haven't talked too much about how it's been for me, but today when I came home, I, I weighed myself and I am now less than 200 pounds away from being under 200 pounds, which is, I have been I'm under. less than 200 pounds I'm at away. 201.8. I have not been under 200 pounds in over 30 years. So this would be quite a significant uh, thing for me. So um, I know a lot of people think we're a little nuts doing this, but um, I've not had any of the nasty um, side effects or hiccups or any of the things that Sandy's gone through. I felt great throughout. I've dropped almost 20 pounds. Uh, my skin feels really great. I got lots of energy. It's been nothing but good for me. I totally believe her in what we're doing. So anyway, in fact, it's uh, my belt is almost out of belt loops. I had to get Sandy to drill another belt loop into my belt because it's literally, it's as much as I've lost in uh, pounds, I have lost a ton in inches, as Sandy would tell you. And it's all been off my stomach and in the areas that I really needed to lose it in so if any of you are thinking about about this i would i would really encourage you to really look into it it's been it's been really good for us so anyway we're here because sandy got tagged by who <laughs> lady bird loves to do the sort of family feud challenge where i'm supposed to ask her questions um sort of the way they do in family feud and because i am also now a yarny person because of the hats that I made. He just dropped this on I, me. Just she doesn't I realize this, but I thought I should also answer the questions because I think I qualify. <laughs> I'm still cranking out the hats as best I can and driving Sandy crazy because as soon as I crank him out, I want him to finish her and she doesn't do it right away and I get frustrated because she's doing a hundred different things. But anyway, we are getting ready. We are less than two months away from our craft fair season. Don't, don't which even is talk uh, the yet. month of November. Every weekend it's in the month August. of November don't, are three or four day don't stress um, me out. <laughs> craft fair. So we're winding up the drag of season. I have a race this weekend, a one day race. Um, and then uh, we're not going to do the Penticton one, but I am doing the BC 55 plus games uh, the second weekend in September. Then that'll be the end. Our season is officially over October 1st. So then we... We just paddle a one day a week in the winter on Sunday or on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're talking about getting some outrigger canoe stuff going, which I'd like yeah. to get Sandy doing because it's a lot easier on her body doing outrigger canoe than dragon boating. So I have an outrigger paddle that I've used, what, maybe a handful of times? Well, I, I bought it for her at an auction. And um, anyway, yeah, I would love it for if she could get back doing the outrigger and get her back doing it because it would be really good for her. She's yeah. she's also lost weight and in inches and everything, but that's what's been very minimal real physical activity. She hasn't even been walking as much as she was before. It's just uh, just skipping and crocheting. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, skipping we're gonna as in skip the dishes. As in skip I the, drive dishes. the dishes. Yeah, skip the dishes. yeah. She drives and I delivers skip. food. I don't you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we deliver really bad, bad quality yeah, junk food that, to people. We're losing weight. We're on this healthy diet. And one of our jobs is we're delivering <laughs> nothing but crap. McDonald's and Tim Hortons and fast food. Oh, to, and man. some of these people get this stuff five or six days a week. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's, so, it's bad. Anyway, anyway. Okay. So it's the sort of family feud. There are nine questions. So I don't know if I should pretend to be Richard Dawson or Steve Harvey <laughs> Or who any of the uh, the many hosts of Family Feud. Well, either so, way, you um, have to give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, Richard Dawson used to always kiss them all, right? I don't know if that that would go now, nowadays. Probably yeah, somebody no. would get upset, and yeah. you know the Me Too people would get all crazy, or you wouldn't yeah. kiss like the trans person, or something would happen. Yeah. So, anyway, 
All right. So. Okay. I forgot what these questions are. So I'll so. do it Family Feud style. 100 people surveyed. <laughs> top five answers to the question. <laughs> Name. Something you hate to find in your yarn. Oh, um, my hair. Her hair. <laughs> Survey says. Ding. Ding. <laughs> uh, for me, honestly, I hate it when I'm when I'm cranking up a hat and all of a sudden I'll get a really tight knot in the yarn. Yeah. Not one that was caused by a tangle or anything that I did, but somehow when they connect the ends and they make it super, super tight and I can't untie them and sometimes Sandy can't untie them. Yeah. So we kind of weave it into the hat and hope that nobody or notices. Cut it out. <laughs> or we cut it and do a join. So yeah. um, that's what I hate to find in the yarn. So number two, top five answers are on the board. Name something you do for your significant other when they buy you yarn. Well, he doesn't buy me yarn. My credit card buys her yarn. Yeah. All the time. No, not so, all the so time. in a way, I do buy her the yarn. I just don't know that I'm buying her the yarn. He does not go into the store and buy me yarn. So, well, I have gone in and picked up yarn for you that you've had on once. order from Michaels once. So, so that question doesn't apply to me. Um, I don't really do anything special because Sandy buys some yarn and realizes that they're more suitable for what I'm doing than what she's doing. So she's just. I've got an enormous bag of yarn that I'm trying to get through as much as I can. And just when I think that I'm... just sounds so weird coming from him. Yeah. I've got my own yarn stash <laughs> and my own yarn chair now and my little stand. God, it's embarrassing. Don't tell the guys. So, <laughs> you just anyway. cashed in your man card. Wow. So that one doesn't really apply because we don't... We don't... Yeah, we don't normally really go out specifically yarn shopping for each other. Yeah. Well, I, I go yarn shopping for you, but... Well, I just buy her the Michael's gift card for Christmas that she uses for yarn. So, for those that haven't heard the story, when we oh first God, met we on our first Christmas, I I went to great lengths to um, try to find gifts that she would really like and stuff. And and so she was opening the presents, and all of a sudden I hear her going, "Oh my God! Oh my God! It, it's beautiful! It's beautiful!" And I'm, I'm going, "What? What? What?" And it, it was the two hundred dollar Michael's gift card that I got. Was what she was emoting over. Yeah, so it was crazy. She was like <laughs> weeping. I, was, uh, I cried. Anyway, I cried. Yeah, it's it funny. was pretty so, pathetic. Really. And this <laughs> since been bumped up to like a $500 yeah. Michael's card. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so. Okay. Okay, top five answers are on the board. Name something you snack on while crocheting or knitting. Uh, That's kind of hard because of the way we've changed our diet. One of the things about carnivore is it doesn't give you a lot of sort of snackable stuff to eat. I, I Sandy has pork rinds, I so she does pork the pork rinds. rinds and dips them in a keto-friendly dip of some kind. So, yeah, but I, I um, don't do the dip when I'm using my yarn. Yeah, because like, you need to get dip in the yarn, right? It's like a, you don't want to get a dip in the yarn. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I, I try really hard not to. Like, I'll put my crochet away, like, beside me, and then I'll eat whatever, and then I'll yeah. wash my hands, and then I'll go back to my yarn. And when I'm when I'm doing the, the machine, I'm not normally snacking, but I often have a drink by my side, which, yeah. by the way, what's in our cup? In Sandy's case, sadly, it's just water. In my case, it's um, booze. Don't tell <laughs> anybody. My, mine's... Um, uh, electrolytes and apple cider vinegar <laughs> and water and water yeah. okay our next question is name an item found in your yarn bag oh um just one or just an item found in your yarn bag an, an item we'll be checking to make sure it's true yarn <laughs> well, that's what I would say. That's not fair. That's my answer because I only have yarn in my bag. I don't have stitch markers and scissors and tools. And yeah. I would say Sandy's case, she probably has stitch markers and crochet hooks and things like that. But in my case, I just have yarn in my bag. Who is he? Is that not true? It's totally true. It's totally true. It's... 
And, and she, she bought us these little scissors that we use to snip the yarn yeah. with. So I have a pair of those too, but she stole it. So <laughs> I don't have them anymore. Okay. So here's one. Name something you watch while crocheting or knitting. YouTube channels. Yeah. You, all the YouTube channels for all you guys she's yeah. watching. And then she has seen every single show on Netflix at least four <laughs> times over. Because I come home from being out working all day and... If I put Netflix on, I think, well, this looks good. She's seen it, seen it, seen it. So, what um, else am I supposed to do? In my case, um, the original idea was I would be watching football while I was making hats, and that's kind of how yeah. I started. But um, it's, it's not football. It's season. not football season, <laughs> so it's either UFC or fighting or some kind of sports or whatever I'm watching, Deadliest Catch or whatever's yeah. on that I normally watch. But yeah. anyway. Um, Name a sport you love to watch or play. None. <laughs> what? Well, uh, I think that, isn't that like. It says, name a sport you're... you love to watch or play. It, it's just a general question. Isn't it like while In my case, my favorite something? sport to watch is football. I thought it was while you were crocheting. But uh, no, it doesn't say while you're crocheting. My okay. favorite sport to watch is football, but I'm also, you know, a big. Uh, UFC or, or fight sports uh, fan and to play I guess the main sport that I'm playing at the moment is dragon boat racing it's my number one sport I played rugby for 30 years but I've hung up the boots Sandy's very happy um, we were bowling for a while but Sandy decided she didn't like bowling anymore so it doesn't look like we're going to bowl this year so it was hurting me sadly was I'm going to finish back. my bowling career still being a shitty bowler after yeah. all these years um, <laughs> anyway um oh name a fruit that isn't round star fruit banana i didn't even think of that one <laughs> first thing i thought of, i don't know what a star fruit is is that that guy that's in um no. that um what's that name oh guardians of the universe there's the raccoon guy there's the star fruit guy there's no. the other guy <laughs> no 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 a star fruit actually looks like a star oh yeah well Okay, our last question is name something you crochet or knit for Christmas or the holiday you celebrate. Well, that's everything. Almost everything we make from our hats to sa my hats that I make to Sandy's sweaters, scarves, cowls. Our, yeah. our craft fair season is pretty much at Christmas time. One of the uh, problems when you're a crocheter is you're not going to really sell a lot of stuff in the summer. So, But if it's talking about like Christmas specific... I don't um, know, other than the wreaths you're planning on making, there's really nothing that's yeah, specifically I it's not like I Christmas make, themed. I don't... Um, we, but people we did shop a, at our craft fairs, and they're buying a lot of these things for Christmas gifts. Yeah. For their relatives that live in Tuktoyuktuk -tuk and really cool places. Yeah. And, I mean, well. some people, though, they make, like, crocheted angels or stars. Yeah, we or, don't really do um, a lot of Christmas tree themed skirt. stuff tree skirts and stuff like that but i don't do any of that kind of stuff but we have a male christmas tree so it doesn't wear a skirt so oh good lord did i did i not say i was gonna fire him you know that's why our branches are always you know oh my god okay <laughs> <laughs> um actually it's artificial yeah it is. Uh, for years i've refused to ever have an artificial tree i'd always had a real tree we've got Went out to the Christmas tree farm and we had oh. this little tradition where the perfect tree would be the first one we would see, but Sandy would make us walk around for three hours <laughs> just to go back to go back to the perfect tree to find out that some other family had cut it down and taken it and we're long sitting at home, cooled out while we were still stomping around in the mud and <laughs> the snow. But um, yeah, we, we did about that for what, two, three, three years, years ago I was just like we no finally did buy an artificial tree. It's nice, but it's I didn't like it's, the pine um, needles and everything. Yeah, that were all the pine needles made a big mess. I love yeah. the smell of the real tree, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it would dry out and we would get needles everywhere. So the last tree that we got, I actually surprised George with it. I was at the grocery store and they had trees, and uh, I actually came home with one, and he was shocked when I brought. I told him to go get it and bring it in the house he was like what i thought we were doing an artificial tree and i says i know but you you seem to like it so much and boy did i regret that 
Yeah. But but actually that one was the best I think out of all of them because it didn't lose its um its needles as much. And I can't remember. Which is hard to believe because we used to literally cut down a live tree, which yeah. would mean theoretically it would be fresh as fresh as you could get one. Mm -hmm. But um one of the problems is we use the uh, fireplace to heat the upstairs and yeah. it, it's a very dry heat and it tends to dry things like the Christmas tree out pretty quickly. So, yeah. so anyway, I'll just have to get spray pine spray or something. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, anyways, so those are the nine questions. There we um, go. I guess I have to tag some people. Yeah. Eek. I guess it's, it's nothing really revolutionary revolutionary in any of the answers because no. if you've been watching the channel you pretty much know yeah you know kind of how things are going so anyway so, so we're looking for some tag. meat if anybody has any meat they could send us <laughs> oh no um i <laughs> i went out hunting today and i wasn't able to find any moose because we live in Canada and there's moose and deer everywhere and we go out and we shoot them and eat them it's what we no, do no we don't when we're in our igloos no we don't that's um, what people seem to think. People but, think, you know. think that. But. No. Okay, I have to tag a couple people. So I am going to tag, of course, Angela from the Precious Yarnery. And I'm going to tag... Who's Sandy. It? Oh, Sandy. Yes, yeah, Sandy from Leftist Right Sandy Crochet. Sandy, do <laughs> Makes you have to do a video. Do da day. <laughs> uh, and then one more. I'm going Did to Jeanette tag. Do it? Hmm? Did Jeanette do this already? I have no idea. We tagged Jeanette. I was thinking about um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Oh yeah, because we haven't seen Lisa on video in uh, forever. She, well, she just did a video which was really cute because she had her hubby in the video looking at facet yarn. I thought that was so cute. Oh poor it Steve! Just, it was Why? Steve. What did Steve do? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was showing his reaction to facet yarn. It was kind of cute. What was his reaction? What the hell is this? No, he was oh. like, oh, this is really soft. Oh, my God. So, Poor Steve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay, Actually, so, Sandy came home. She showed me that. What is this? The Ogo Oh, yarn. the Ogo yarn. And she was just like angels were singing. And she was like, oh. Yep. I was looking at it going, that would make a nice hat. And she got all upset because apparently I'm not getting any of this yarn. So, anyway. Um, Get your hands off my yarn. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I, we do have to tell you a tragic hat story. Oh. So, we have this thing where I, I crank the hat out and it sits nicely on the stand waiting for Sandy to come along with the needle and, and do the finishing. Um, so, she used to do it fairly quickly, but now it's like a week or two goes by. And we have this little thing where I move it little bit closer a little bit closer to where she sits till eventually she has to move it out of the way in order to sit down where she crochets and eventually gets the hint maybe i should finish this but she'll never do it unless i'm in bed for several hours and then she's like a little elf sneaking in and making the hat and then she throws it over the um centrifuge that i used the to make centrifuge? whatever what do you call it An well, well the addy thing that it goes around in the circle it's like a centrifuge so she throws it over and i'll get up in the morning and i'll see it sitting there and then i'll be able to pick it up and go oh wow look well i did that the other day she threw it over and i went in the grab it and i pulled it and somehow it got caught on one of the pegs and i ripped a great big hole in probably the nicest hat i've ever made and i just ruined it he so was I'm just, I was so upset. So now I've made this other hat. I'm really trying hard to get rid of my bad hat mojo, which is why I want Sandy to hurry up and finish this so that okay, I can, I'll do it can after put the video. this horrible chapter. So now we, she has been told you cannot leave it on the Addy because there's sharp edges and hooks and yeah. things that snag on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. It's all been part of the wonderful week we've had. $2,000 yeah. in brake repairs and, and a freezer full of meat and a wrecked hat. So I guess that's the bad things happen in threes. I guess that's the three. So yep. <clears throat> anyway. So, okay, guys. That's it for us today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Of course, you guys always seem to enjoy seeing him. Yeah, I don't get out much. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> so, so when he gets on video, he's chatty Cathy. Well, she kind of locks so. me in a trunk. If you've seen that, <laughs> if you've seen the gimp in um, Pulp Fiction, that's kind of me. She puts the big leather mask on my face and chains me and puts me in the trunk oh, and locks the door. And every do once in a while, she opens it and lets me out, and I get to come on. <laughs> I get to come on a video or she lets me go to work in the morning. That's... You can have as many of your your tra carpet trails as you want. But yeah, yeah. not much has been going on in that. Well, we forgot about our the Tales from the Delivery Trail one that we had that yeah. we took the picture for. But um, yeah. So. Anyway. Anyway. Okay, guys. I don't know if the girls really like my carpet stories. Okay. Comment down below. I know I haven't done one in a while, but... Um, For those of you that are new, he has his own little spin-off on the channel. It's in my playlist. It's called... Tales from the Carpet Trail. Tales from the Carpet Trail. So these Why? are actual, real things that cleaner. happened to me in the course of the 20 years that I've yeah. been in strange people's houses and, uh, and clean carpets <laughs> and some of yeah. the crazy, weird things yeah. that I've seen. So Yeah, but he hasn't done oh. one in quite some time. Well, maybe I, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about people are pretty sensitive, right? So the most common question I get asked is what is the nastiest job you've ever done? So oh, oh, are we doing a carpet trail right now? So maybe I should do one where I will. <laughs> if you guys want to really hear this and um, just let us know in the comments. But I must warn you, uh, some of the stuff is a little disturbing and a little gross. So. If yeah. you have, if you can't take that, that's fine. But if you really are curious, I will come up with maybe my story of the three, three nastiest jobs I've ever done. Um, they're all very different. Um, but yeah, there are three that stick out in my mind as to the, for various reasons, the nast, the nastiest carpet cleaning jobs I've done in 20 years. So let us know. Comment down below. If you really want to hear it, I want the comments. And if you guys are really itching to know, um, I will do another Tales from the Carpet Trail. And it will be the three nastiest jobs I've ever done. Okay. You heard it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Who are you calling a horse? <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Don't. Nah, uh, well. No. Nah, no. Don't. You know, no, parts no. of me. Okay, we're going. <laughs> we're going. For horse -like. so I, but, I said don't go um, there. <laughs> Okay, we are gonna go now. I will talk. We we will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.